Here we go. Contest number 10 here at Senshi 18. It's been an absolutely fantastic evening of world-class kickboxing action with one mixed martial arts fight just added for a bit of extra flavor. I'm joined now with my co-commentator, Tariel Nikolaishvili. That's easy for you to say, Nikolai. That's uh, Tariel. So, just for those of you who don't know, he is a Kaikashenkai legend and recently completed the feared and legendary 100-man kumite. Uh, I also did the 100-man kumite last year, but I did it online. Yeah, it took me 10 minutes. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my black belt. No, but ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard of this 100-man kumite that the Kakashenkai guys do, it is just something beyond believable. Toughness that you've never seen before. But back to this contest. Dragomir Petrov from Bulgaria, and he's facing my favorite Slovenian fighter, Samo Peche, who I've refereed, ring announced, and known for about 10 years. Now, it's an under 70 kilo contest, so we expect to see these guys very busy. And they're both champions in their own right. This isn't the, the first time in the century ring. They've both been here before, so it's not unfamiliar surroundings. Nice, nice middle kick. Nice yeah, the way it's Peche there ducked under that punch, but he would leave himself open to a knee if he does that on too many occasions. There's a bit of blood. There's a bit of blood coming from somewhere. Where's, the, where's that? I'm sure I saw a little bit of blood. Is it coming from the top of Petje's head? No. What's happening? What's happening? So, here we go. So the cut is actually on Dragomir Petrov's left eye, and it's above the eye, which can be a little bit concerning. It doesn't look like it's bleeding too much. I'm not sure what caused the damage. Punch, kick, or a knee. Um, so, I think just Petje looking here, looking over at his corner, composing himself. Continue. Yeah, it, it would, ooh. But it, when we look at it there, as the blood's cleared, the doctor, our cuts man, he's vaselining it up, he's treated nice it, he's going to allow the fight to carry on. But one thing we have to take into consideration, it's above the eye, so the blood, if it keeps bleeding, will go into the eye and disturb the vision, which will compromise the defense of the Bulgarian. Now, Petier now is going to smell blood. He's either going to attack that eye, trying to make the cut bigger, or the Bulgarian is going to say, the Bulgarian's going to throw every caution to the wind and try and get the knockout himself. Good cross. And Petier has got 22 knockouts in his career. And when you look at these guys, um, Tariel, they don't look that powerful, but they've got knockout power. Power and good technique. And combine that with, with spot on timing, yes, 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 yes. and anybody can go to sleep. So you see there at the end of that first round, Petier being very clever. You can only land one knee strike if you clinch with two hands. Yes, one. But knee. he held with one hand <laughs> and landed three knees. <laughs> yeah, so he was playing the rules there. Now, at the end of that first round, Tariel, who, who, who would you go with? Uh, I think a little bit better Petier. Yep. I think. Yep. And the damage caused by the cut would have highlighted his is the, to the judges yes. that he was the guy being dominant. Some great combinations there you see in the replay. Punch, punch, low kick, punch, low kick. And good defense. And his defense on the back there, parrying those punches. And, yeah, yeah he's hit well. He's better in slow motion <laughs> than he is during the fight. And people, I don't get it. When I see replays like that, that's poetry in motion, isn't it? We love it. Um, 
but people don't appreciate it. And people who just think that this is just violence, man, it's so annoying. This is just a work of art. So here we go. And that's why they call it martial arts, by the way. So Petier, very composed, but he took a right hand there. Nice front, front kick from the Bulgarian. The Bulgarian is trying to be aggressive. They can round him looking better. Yep. But Petier's head movement and defense is very tricky to deal with. Changing to Southpaw. I have to say, I've seen Petier turn up and not perform very well in the past. Whether that was preparation, traveling, weight cut, I don't know. But tonight, he looks oh, on nice form. combination by Petro. Petier just starting to look a little bit tired. The Bulgarian coming forward and looking like he's getting stronger as the fight goes on. So fair play to uh, Petrov. Nice. The cut didn't bother him at all. Well, we're coming up to a minute left of the second round. And Dragomir Petrov from Bulgaria, he's getting stronger and stronger. And I, dare I say it, but at this stage of the fight, uh, Samo Petier, is he getting tired? Because he's allowing Petrov to come forward. Boom, boom. And I don't know whether whether Petier is just uh, resting and allowing Petrov to tire himself a bit in this second round. But that's not a good tactic in a three-round fight. You can't give anything away. So here he comes again. Less than 30 seconds left. 20 seconds left of this second round. And Petier is coming forward again with a, landing some shots. But he's not going to be able to get this round back. He hasn't got time. That front tip of Petia is lovely. But Petia is going back to his corner, holding his arms up. But that, he didn't do enough. He won the first round, but the second round was definitely Pet Dragomir Petrov's round. So it's a round apiece for me. What do you say? Uh, I think Petrov this round better. Little better. So a one round each. One round. So we've got a round. And last round. The last round is going to decide it. Yes. Or maybe it's going to decide it because we've already seen three fights go to a fourth Extra round. round yes. Which has been added entertainment. I don't know if we go around the audience and we take a little bit of extra money every time there's a fourth, a fourth, an extra round. They're getting extra entertainment for free. We should we should look at that. They have to sign an agreement when they come in. Any 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 fight that goes four rounds, you have to pay an extra twenty euros. But here we go back to the action of our tenth fight of the evening. Our referee Andy Sauer brings them together. Final round. Well. I don't know if Petier, Samo Petier, got tired and slowed right down in that second round. Dragomir Petrov was aggressive, coming forward and landed more, more shots. Great job. Well, 
Oh, nice. Oh, that was stop, nice. Stop, stop. Set that, really set that kick up, didn't he? Yeah. And you see the way he stepped forward. He, he grew in confidence just from that one combination. But Petier comes back strong. Oh. Petier's got the tools, but I don't know why he's not... He's not unloading. Two great fighters. Oh, what? Nice kick. Oh, and, another, and again, it's Petier hurt. That was two right hands. Oh, we've got half a round left of this fight. Petrov should have smelled blood then. Don't let him off the hook, Bulgaria. And even if... Even... Oh, the punch. Finish with a kick. Petier's corner telling him to come forward. The Bulgarian is saying that he took a little shot downstairs. Petier's denying it. I don't think the Bulgarian had any reason to, to fake that. Well, we've got a minute left of this. 70 kilogram clash here under KWU full contact rules and Petier convincingly won the first round on my cards. Dragomir Petrov came back confident and more aggressive and won the second round and I have to say with less than a minute to go Petrov is ahead at the moment. It could still go either way. Wow. Well, Petier's defense and head movement isn't as sharp as it was. He's taken a few shots. He took one there. Ten seconds left of this third and final round. The Bulgarians unloading big bombs now. And the bell is going to go. Oh, <laughs> a little cheeky, Petrov, <laughs> cheeky did a jab. Great job, I think. <laughs> right on the bell. Petrov, like that beautiful sportsmanship. Tariev, respect you, right until the end. You said but it also, there. The Bulgarian the desire to did a win great sometimes job. is greater than everything else. And Dragomir Petrov. For a special awards presentator, I would like to invite up the president of the ISKA Europe, Mr. Paul Hennessy. So as we wait for Paul Hennessy to come up. I think Petrov a little better. It's got to be it's so close be, fight, so close fight. I think then. you're absolutely right. But two rounds to one yes. to Bulgaria. Yes. And I think that's a great victory for him. Getting cut in the first round, taking punishment and staying tough and coming back. Yes. A true warrior with real heart. And here's Paul Hennessy, president of the European ISKA. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend. We have the official scorecard the from scenes. the referees and judges. Please enter the middle of the ring. Well, the music. And it is a making split it even more decision. dramatic. And it's a Judge split number decision. One. In favor of the red corner, 30 to 28. Wow. Judge number two, in favor of the blue corner, don't, 28 to 29. Don't tell me there's an extra round. Judge number three, 29 it, it, it has to, be to blue. 29. We have an extra round. No, a draw again. That is unbelievable. But. The one thing I noticed when that was announced, Dmitry Dragomir Petrov stormed back to his corner, ready for action. Sam, Sam Petier strolled back to his corner, thinking, oh my God, I've got to go another three minutes. Bulgaria is ready for the final round. We're staring at a warrior there. We have a great fight.
Petier is not going to let him off the hook. He's got heart. He's been in this game a long time. But at moments like this, and Ernesto Host said it, we sort out the men from the boys. Now Petier coming on strong in this. But some heavy shots from Petrov. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't have expected this to go to a final, a, a fourth round, but I'm not disappointed that it has. Now, this fight, this round is scored on its own merits. So forget the other three rounds. This is one round. The judges score the fight just on this. So whoever wins this round wins the fight. Ooh. Some lovely straight punches from Petrov. And a nice left hand at the end there. A knee on the inside from Petier. Now we've got two minutes. That's a minute gone of this third and final round. Nice mid kick there from Petier. Petrov not being so aggressive. Is he wary? Petier is a great counter-puncher. Well, we're approaching halfway through this, this fourth round. And Petier is working harder. The Bulgarian is... is his aggression has, has gone backwards. But there we got a nice right hand. Come on, guys, we're coming up to one minute. A minute left, that's all you've got. Give it everything. So it's getting untidy now. They're both tired. I don't want to see them throw caution to the wind and throw the fight away, but... Oh, some lovely work from Petrov. Here comes Petrov. He's coming forward. A high kick that just missed. Glancing the head of Petier. They're both coming, slugging it out. We've got 30 seconds left. Who's got a little bit more in the tank? Some great punches from Petrov. Another left hand. And he's sour there, just letting them fight. Doing a great job refereeing. The last 10 seconds. They both want to shine in the judge's eyes as we come to the end of the fourth round. Wow! What a fight! Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness! I think Petrov win. I think. Wow! And as if the first three rounds wasn't enough, what did we see here in the extra round? You're right. Everything. I think you're was right. left here on the floor in this ring today. Once again, ISKA director Paul. Wow! What? That's a Mr. Paul Hennessy. Incredible fourth round. Great show. What did you think of the fight, sir? I mean, I thought Bulgaria had it after three rounds. Excellent fights. Excellent fights. But that was a gift to, okay, gi remember, to the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a must system in the last round. And Can we have the fighters come to the center of the ring? Remember, we just came off a split decision in the first three rounds. Come on in. Don't worry about it. Judge number one. Oh my goodness me. In favor of the blue corner, nine to 10. Wow. Judge number two, nine to 10. And judge number three, nine to 10. It's going to the red in corner. In favor blue corner. of the blue corner. No, Bulgaria gets it. Dragomir. Wow. Petro. Oh my goodness. Petje can't believe it. Petrov can't believe it. Whoever won that fight at the end of those four rounds deserved it. Petier is talking to me now. We are over getting the, the winner's belt presented by Paul Hennessy. For... <clears throat> the next well, fight. 
Petia is telling me over the ropes there that it was a hometown decision. But ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't, it wasn't a hometown decision. Senshi doesn't give hometown decisions. I'll guarantee that. Смятам, че бях по-добър в днешния матч. Все пак това е един съдзател на световно ниво. От тук нататък вече атакувам световния връх. Ус, благодаря още веднъж на всички вас. Това е възможно. И аз ще кажа след това... Не знам точно колко добри моите трансляции са, но съм много добре, че е благодаря тима и спонсори за всички, които са дойдат да съпорта им днес. Ус! Така че не знам, че три раунда, If the Bulgarian had won, it wouldn't have been unfair. For me, it was two rounds to one then. For me too. To give us a fourth round was a beautiful gift. Thank you very much, judges. Whoever walked away with the victory. Good job, judges, and good job, fighters. <laughs> <laughs> and who